Well, welcome to another edition of Face to Face with Rockosaurus. Today, I'm very pleased to be speaking to the lovely Verity White. Hello. Hello, Verity. How are you? I'm very well. And um, and sorry, I've forgotten your name. It's Alex White. There you go. He we is my long-suffering husband. And <laughs> I don't suffer. I enjoy it uh, every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I keep him in a box. That's the best bit. Well, uh, <laughs> this uh, sounds like uh, some very personal information. <laughs> <laughs> So, what have you got in store for us at Leo's tonight? Well, we have got some rather exciting things. Um, we are going to be doing our new duo Sorry, show. <laughs> lighting problems. Lighting problems. We're lighting problems. Down We're to all the wind. Over. The wind's ruining it everything. It is, yeah. It is. It's like the wind in the willows, but there are no willows. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Huh. Right. Anyway, this is live TV. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, these yes. things are marvelous. Yes. So we are. Um, we've been moving away from um, having the four-piece band, trying to modernise our sound and, and move it into kind of into the future and kind of where we want to be going with things. Um, so we're doing a a set with just the two of us, mm -hmm. but it's not acoustic. It's got um, synths that we're playing live on stage with different drum pads and stuff that we're triggering um, with the guitar and vocals and stuff like that. So it's all quite mad and exciting and, yeah, and proper mashup of electronic Innovative, yeah. Innovative. Well, innovative. yeah, okay. innovative. If there is anything left new to do, well, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure somebody out there will be able to go, they're doing the exact same thing as mm, but yeah. it's, oh, it's I love you know, mm, they're amazing they're such a good band yeah. they're so good um, brilliant band yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah how come they never really made really it yeah. <laughs> yeah right good, good, good and point. we're going to find good out point. why later <laughs> <laughs> brilliant now you got a new single out we have yeah yeah it's called Another Angle and um, it's quite a commentary on some of the misogynistic comments that I've had online from people sadly it happens. It does happen. Yeah. It does. Yeah. yeah. And I think when you're a woman in the music industry, um, specifically in kind of the rock scene and stuff, people, I don't know, it just, people expect certain things of you mm. and you kind of are, I suppose, fair game in some people's eyes. And yeah, it, it, it happens sadly. But yeah, I just wanted to say something about it and hopefully other people can relate to some parts of it anyway. Uh, absolutely right. Yeah. No, I mean, it's uh, good on you for bringing it to the fore. Thank you. You know, because it's, um, it, it, it is an issue. Um, you know, there's no doubt about it. You know, the bands like Hands Off Gretel have yes. sort of highlighted this greatly. Oh gosh, um, it's so amazing! I love what Lauren does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's uh, women have got a voice in music for Hell God's yeah. sakes, and you know, why should people feel entitled to treat you any differently? Yeah. Than if you were a man, it's, I think it's completely wrong. No, it's it's bonkers, but you know. Um, it's it's good to be able to make a stand against it and and hopefully it's just a song that people will enjoy anyway you know a lot of people don't even listen to lyrics they just enjoy the tune and that's fine too well, so that's right. yeah that's it, good. it's a good tune thank you i've listened to it apparently yeah. it's a certified bop so well. <laughs> that was not my words that was someone else said that, so. <laughs> well we take that as red yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so it's been a while since you brought out your last album. It so has. Um, have we got plans for another one? We have. Yes, I'm we have. Let absolutely. Alex talk. Yeah, we've got. Okay, we've got, that's not <laughs> and that's, yeah, and that's all from me. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's all he's allowed. <laughs> no, we have. Um, it's exciting. We're really going to lean into the electronic side of things. So we're never going to get rid of the kind of rock heavy distorted guitars, but we're really going to bring in more of the rhythm um, uh, electronically, more of the effects that you can do with kind of modern synthesizers a lot more um glitchy erratic sort of re-triggered sounds things like kind that of nine so inch nails -y. yeah, yeah. You know, we kind both of adore nine inch nails yeah oh, abs so absolutely huge, huge um, fans, still but. very much uh, i i love i love the kind of harder edge sounds yeah. so not so much um softer but kind of more gritty uh aggressive more distorted dirty kind of synth. Yeah. dirty yeah. generally yeah. 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 Um, yeah but just just more more of that stuff more of the stuff that you could just hit a button and get a really cool sonic experience yeah. we from, want it you know? to be a real small um, board of different things because yeah, we've both yeah. got so many different influences and so many different things that we listen to and you know different different skills as well alex is a is an amazing saxophonist mm. so it would be incredible if we could manage to write something that's actually got a alex doing some sax on it so Definitely. you know we want to really explore and push the boundaries and yeah. just be really creative yeah, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely that's, that's, it's that really exciting very exciting thank actually. you no no looking forward to if it. we can Yay. pull it off yeah well, it might be there's always that challenge <laughs> Got to give it a shot. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you mentioned influences. What uh, what bands have influenced you? So obviously, Nine Inch Nails. Mm. Um, I am a diehard Nine Inch Nails fan. I've been to see them more times than I can count. And I bet you've seen the film Seven as well. Haven't you? Oh yeah. God! <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're amazing. But also things like. Um, 
Aretha Franklin. Mm. I remember when I was younger putting something on by her, I think it was one of her best of CDs or something, mm. and listening to it and thinking, oh my God, this woman can sing in a way that makes you feel something. How can mm. she do that? Yeah. And so that for me is a massive influence. I also mm. love electronic, other electronic music as well, like mm. synthy stuff like churches and things like that, and yeah. Portishead, old stuff like that. And <laughs> obviously 90s rock and grunges are always massive influences yeah. too. So that's, that's me. Alex is... Yeah, different. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, my favourite band of all time is Nirvana. Mm -hmm. um, I, I remember discovering Nirvana and thinking it was like magic music, mm. you know. Um, and so I think, although although I don't think what I actually make on a day to day basis sounds anything like Nirvana, mm. it's the just the pure songwriting aspect of it. It's yeah. the it's the melodies. It's the way it makes me feel that I think back to every single time. Because I don't think I don't think I get so much influenced by genre as mm. much as I do. Yeah. If you'd imagine taking that music and just writing its notes on a page, yeah. And then looking at that and looking how that works harmonically and rhythmically, structurally, yeah. that's the that, that's what I really hear. Um, I find um, genre and uh, the the actual sonics are just they're just fun choices, way of, ways of coloring those notes. So yeah. yeah, for me, it's actually like a lot of '90s grunge is actually mm. like what I love listening to every single day, even though I don't make anything that really sounds very much like it. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but it, it's that basic construction, isn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Alex yeah. said, the yeah. songwriting is so interesting, yeah. and that's one of the reasons why I love Nine Inch Nails because what Trent Reznor does in his songwriting is really cool because it's using different sounds, it's using different techniques, it's yeah. pushing the boundaries, there's lots of interesting layers and stuff going on. He's not a great singer. No. But I don't care. No. Because I still enjoy the music. So Well, well that's yeah. right. I mean, let's face it, there's plenty of people out there making great music who yeah. can't sing no, to exactly. save their lives. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I really think Good what people case hear is, no, it's, it's true, isn't it? What people hear is the performance. Yes. yes. It's the, it's the, it's the emotion the emotion and, what yeah. they're, and the message yeah. they're getting across. Yes, we can all hear Bob Dylan sing some rough notes, but it doesn't matter. No. It no. totally, in fact, you could almost go, if he was doing it better, it would somewhere how spoil it. I think that's something yeah. that's yeah. missing in a lot of modern music as well, though. Like, when you listen, if you, if you happen to, like we did on the way down here today, mm. try and tune into some sort of radio station that was playing something that wasn't awful. Yeah. Everything sounds really plasticky and the same yeah. and all auto-tuned and it's just they've tried to create something that's just so perfect there's no humanity left within it well that's very true very true indeed yeah it, it, it has no life exactly you know and yeah. that's um trying to capture that element of music is absolutely vital to yes. me yeah um, i yeah. think it is to, agree, yeah. to most like-minded people you know um, yeah i hope so yeah yeah this is it, it's an interesting evening to this evening I at think leo's so. oh god incredible now, yeah um Jack actually, uh, between lockdowns last year, he he actually came down to my house for an interview. It was the first oh, ever interview marvelous. I'd done. You awful, didn't get an invite. It was an awful invite. It, it was an awful interview on my point because I was nervous as hell, and Aww. it was very, it was you know, I just felt very awkward. But um, Jack's a lovely guy to interview. Uh, we're talking about Jack J Hutchinson, of yes, course. He's for wonderful. The, for the and we love him. He is um, wonderful, and we do love now, him. Now, one of the questions I asked Jack during that interview was, uh, "Who are the artists that he's uh, really looking at at the moment as to, you know bringing things forward?" Um, one was Loz Campbell, who of course is on the bill we tonight. Love Absolutely Oz. phenomenal Lads. person. Uh, yeah. The other one was uh, a lady by the name of Verity White. Nah, she's terrible. Don't listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> Awful person. Now, <laughs> tonight has got to be a dream ticket for Jack because oh. these are the two artists that he actually mentioned when I asked that question. So, That's so lovely. I mean, I thought that this is really wonderful that. That's you kind know, of tonight, these are the two support acts. I you think know. it's so nice as well because so cool. we were all on this earache new wave of um, rock and roll yeah. um, vinyl that came out literally just before lockdown, yeah. so many moons ago. Yeah. Um, and we just kind of got chatting through that group and kind of started getting to know each other. Mm. And so this lineup of the three of us tonight, just it feels like we all know each other so well, even though like we've never really spent any time together. Yeah. So it's it's really cool. It feels I like think, yeah, yeah that's actually wonderful now, isn't it? Online has become. Do you remember like? back in the day when mm. meeting people online was really weird yeah and you were like don't meet them in real life they're definitely going to be a nutter <laughs> yeah. now I mean I still I mean, get that I mean yeah, I still well, think I do, still yeah. but we've discovered we're nice nutters <laughs> so yeah. that's, that's, yeah. you know and it's actually amazing how much you can just get to know somebody online I think this mm. is the first time we've met Loz in person yeah you, and it? we really? love Loz because we were meant to be doing a gig with her like yeah. last month and we had this Covid incident as mm. many people have yeah. and love her so much she knows I love cheese yeah. and she bought me some Snowdonia cheese and posted it to me oh lovely she's just <laughs> the best yeah. yeah but yeah so I'm very excited to yeah. see her now Loz is lovely I, I mean I met Loz at, at the Ear 8 launch oh actually my God, yeah. oh that's so, amazing um, yeah because I, I there's some video on Rockasaurus TV of Loz at that gig oh Fantastic. love um, so really looking forward to seeing her again yeah and, it's uh, going to be great I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys for the first time ever ah, um, this is uh, 
It's going to be a hell of a night. No, it's going to be it's amazing. Be, I'm yeah, so looking yeah, forward to just, it. Just wonderful. Yeah. So excited to be here. I'm not going to keep you any longer because you're going to have things to do and talk people sure. to talk to. We've got to go and uh, be musicians. Got to go and plug well, things yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, that's why you can't. I say it in the loosest <laughs> sense because I am, all I do is open my mouth and noise comes out, so it's not very... Some people say singing is also music. Nah, I don't know, though. Well, I don't oh, know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's the rumour. Just prance about. <laughs> Crazy people. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for taking the time you. to talk to us. Thank you. Yeah, look forward to tonight. Thank Yay. you. You take care. You Thanks too. a lot. Cheers. <laughs>